there is a growing belief that we may be near the end of a cycle. Uh, I'm not sure that's true. Uh, I'm looking only at the capital flows, and I can tell you the tremendous depth and breadth of the capital out there, which remains growing. I look at the attitude of that capital, and I'll tell you, it is very heightened to risk. It is uh, uh, being very judicious at the moment, which is something you don't see at the peak of a market, where people are investing with abandon and ignoring risks. So that's one factor. Uh, I see investors that are still looking at core assets as opposed to development. And actually, when you look at uh, most markets around the globe, there are very few exceptions, the market's not overbuilt. Again, you know, overbuilding is something that tends to end a cycle, and that doesn't appear present right now. Uh, over leverage is yet another factor that tends to uh, cause the end of a cycle. Uh, again, it's investors taking on too much risk or lenders taking on too much risk. And as we look into the deals and the capital stack, uh, investors are using a very judicious amount of, of leverage. Uh, lenders are being very uh, discreet in looking at uh, their metrics. Loan to values remain very conservative. Uh, you know, so we don't see over leverage. You know, so we don't see, uh, we see investors that are very well positioned to hold assets through downturns. They're not gonna have to sell too cheaply should there be a downturn in the economy. Uh, and the weight of all this capital that still wants to be in real estate, real estate is still attracting capital from other asset class, uh, should buoy the market and, and hold trends fairly solid uh, over the near term at least.